Put out great you all and thank you for joining us on the program 24 hours channel where we provide the latest and hottest new updates. Now let's get into the noteworthy news for today. Dear audience, a tornado with winds of 150 km per hour has struck Guangdong. Thousands of houses were destroyed in an instant. According to the recent report from Epic Time, a powerful tornado with winds of 150 km per hour swept through Thuan Duong and Lin Van ports in Guangdong province, China, where tornadoes had never occurred before. The video footage posted in Guangdong, China, shows strong winds and flashes of lightning, toppling pillars, blowing away roofs and debris from buildings, causing severe damage and uprooting trees along the roads. Many internet users also shared information from their respective areas. The tornado has caused extensive damage, including roof tearing and crop destruction, officials from Hunia town government stated that some buildings suffered severe damage from the unexpected tornado and are currently being assisted. The Emergency Management Bureau of Lien Van Port District reported that relevant departments have been mobilized to the scene to assess the disaster situation. While the country is already grappling with various disasters, it seems that nature continues to ravage China with century storms, described as nature's way of preserving balance. Furthermore, satellite images from a specialized website monitoring the South China Sea indicate that Typhoon No. 2 is currently sweeping through Hainan Island in China. It has sunk nearly 150 Chinese fishing vessels that were anchored at this island. This comes as the Chinese government, in the past three days, allowed Beijing's fishing vessels to flood the East Sea and engage in fishing activities with up to 3,000 different types of ships. Typhoon No. 2 has devastated and sunk nearly 150 Chinese vessels of various types. This is believed to be a karmic response to China's prohibition of Vietnamese fishing vessels from catching seafood in the South China Sea, while allowing 3,000 Chinese vessels to exploit marine resources. This is the wrongdoing committed by China, and nature is believed to be taking action to punish China. Regarding Typhoon No. 2, the National Hydrometeorological Forecasting Center of Vietnam predicts that the storm will reach a strength of level 11 with gusts exceeding level 12 on the South China Sea. The typhoon is moving in a west-northwest direction at a speed of 15 to 20 km per hour. It will enter the southern provinces of Guangdong and Guangxi in China, heading straight towards Beijing and Tiananmen Square, causing heavy rain, flooding, landslides, and widespread destruction in 28 southern provinces of China, according to experts. If Typhoon No. 2 directly hits the Tam Heap Dam in Wuhan City, Hubei province, the dam will undoubtedly collapse. Faced with this imminent and urgent situation, the Beijing government has issued an emergency announcement, ordering the immediate evacuation of all residents last night. Currently, Typhoon No. 2 is wreaking havoc on Hainan Island in China. The flooding is also affecting major rivers such as the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, with water levels ranging from 90 to 150 percent higher than normal. Unfortunately for China, the country's meteorological and hydrological forecasting center has stated that heavy rain, storms, earthquakes, and volcanoes will continue to occur consecutively in the next few days in 26 southern provinces and cities of the country. To be cautious, people should remain extremely vigilant. However, after a long period of resistance, the people's resilience has been exhausted, and now the flooding can only engulf China. For the past decade, China has experienced a series of natural disasters that have continuously raised alarm bells, such as frequent storms, tornadoes, and hurricanes. Sandstorms fill the sky, with the affected area expanding, while droughts occur extensively, and floods and heavy rains happen out of season. Dear esteemed viewers, heavy rains in southern China continue, and the resulting floods have spread throughout the Yangtze River region, from the middle, lower, to the basin of the Yangtze and Xijiang rivers. The Flood Prevention Bureau has reported that many rivers have exceeded the warning levels. Weather information indicates that a rain belt is extending from Guangxi to northeastern Guangdong, and the China Meteorological Observatory has issued a high-level orange rainstorm warning for the second time on that day. In Hubei province, the most serious disaster in recent days, 
water levels at many hydrological stations in the middle reaches of the Yangtze River have exceeded the measured warning levels since Tuesday. Sichuan and Yunnan are still struggling with raging waters, accompanied by horrifying landslides and bizarrely shaped hailstones as large as bowls. Since the beginning of July, when the country entered the flood season earlier than expected, China's National Headquarters for Flood Control and Drought Relief reported that this year's floods have directly affected 1,192 counties nationwide, resulting in 271 deaths and 45 missing persons. The General Office of Flood Control and Drought Relief pointed out that the total number of people affected by the floods is approximately 50 million, the affected crop area is 29.42 million hectares, 56,000 houses have collapsed, and the direct economic losses amount to around 32 billion US dollars. The General Administration of Defense also stated that compared to the average values of the same period last year, the number of people affected, the number of deaths, and the number of collapsed houses in the flood-affected areas this year have all significantly decreased, but the direct economic losses have increased by more than 51 percent. According to BBC News, 56 towns and villages in three districts of Dongnan City, Suzhou Province, were affected by heavy rain, and by San District was flooded. The cities of Suchin in Anhui Province have also experienced severe flooding. Cars are floating, and the urgent means of transportation for people are small boats and canoes. In Hubei Province, home to the world's largest hydroelectric dam, the Three Gorges Dam, the water level of the Yangtze River is approaching the banks of Hankou, there is a high possibility of additional floods occurring in the Tung Flower River and Huanghai River. According to the China Meteorological Administration, the river water is rising rapidly, so precautions should be taken against flash floods, landslides, mudslides, and especially earthquakes and tsunamis. More than 80,000 large and small dams throughout China are at risk of breaching their capacities and water storage efficiency, in particular, two large dams near the Three Gorges Dam, where the Yangtze River flows out, are on the highest alert level. There is a high possibility of flash floods occurring due to continuous heavy rainfall. Intense rainfall, continuous flooding, and reports from Chinese media suggest that many old dams are on the verge of collapsing, posing a constant threat to the dikes surrounding the Yangtze River. But a disturbing event is the high likelihood that China's largest dams will rupture, causing great concern to the authorities led by President Xi Jinping, who has convened meetings at the provincial and Ministry of Water Resources levels. China's Emergency Management Department reported yesterday that a total of 317 people have died or gone missing, and 30.2 million people have been affected by floods in 27 provincial-level regions. Over 1.7 million people have been urgently evacuated, 22,000 houses have collapsed, resulting in direct economic losses of 105 billion Chinese yuan, equivalent to about 11 billion US dollars. Dear esteemed viewers, the rainfall and floods continue in China. These torrential rains are the cause of devastating earthquakes. However, that is only the scientific perspective, while the Chinese people have been buzzing with mysterious information about unusual phenomena in recent days, for example, dual earthquakes occurred in Sichuan province, accompanied by strange signals from the sky. These were vivid blue lights that appeared continuously at the epicenter of the earthquake, even brighter than the speed of light. Some residents of Sichuan province were saved by leaving their homes beforehand, bringing sacrificial offerings outside to worship. After the repeated appearance of lightning flashes, two dual earthquakes occurred. This case is known as a near signal, which often occurs about half an hour before disaster strikes. The pre-warning signals and timing are believed by the Chinese to be ominous signs, usually occurring a few days or sometimes even one to two months prior to the event, regardless of its scale. These premonitions serve as valuable experiences passed down from the older generation to their descendants, helping them overcome unnecessary hardships. Currently, the rain continues to pour down in China, particularly concentrated in the southern and central regions. Hubei province is the focal point of record-breaking heavy rains, which has drawn attention from people worldwide due to the presence of the Three Gorges Dam. The Chinese government continues to turn a blind eye to the suffering of its people, they issue their own orders, 
which may seem like concern from the government towards the citizens, but in reality, they only want to preserve the relics and artifacts to make them famous worldwide. The Three Gorges Dam is not an ancient relic, but it is a source of pride for the Chinese Communist Party because it is the largest and most magnificent in the world. Many Chinese hydraulic experts have affirmed that this dam does not bring the profits that the Chinese Communist Party claims, and from the day it appeared, it has even altered the global climate by slowing down the Earth's rotation. It is precisely for this reason that the weather has become so unpredictable and does not follow a specific pattern. Scientists describe it as extreme weather, causing severe consequences for China due to the actions of the dam. Dear esteemed viewers, last night, China unexpectedly experienced a catastrophic flash flood and mudslide that hit the embankment of the Three Gorges Dam, burying half of the dam and bringing the situation of dam failure very close. The incident happened so urgently that the forces guarding China's largest dam had to issue the highest level emergency alert. According to the latest information we have just received from a local Chinese newspaper, at 4.16 a.m., a sudden flash flood originated from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River combined with mudslides from the Yellow River and Mekong River, all pouring in simultaneously after prolonged and relentless heavy rainfall. The local newspaper also quoted Mr. Xin, a 63-year-old resident living in the downstream area of the Yangtze River and near the Three Gorges Dam. He said that around 2.15 a.m. that morning, while the darkness enveloped the outdoors, scenes of flooding and submergence were taking place, and the power lines were knocked down. The people were trying to hastily fall asleep after staying awake for several sleepless days and nights guarding the embankment when suddenly the Three Gorges Dam issued an emergency alert. Cameras recording from the high mountain peak captured the sight of roaring flash floods and mudslides rushing down from the upper reaches causing wild mountain animals and birds to emit fearful cries. Shortly after, my goodness, the aforementioned flash floods and mudslides engulfed three-quarters of the Three Gorges Dam, forcing China's rescue and relief forces to exert all efforts to withstand the onslaught. The recent information concludes our news program for today. Thank you all for your attention and viewership. Please like, subscribe and leave your comment below to help us improve. Goodbye and see you again.